Imagine you have some model class with many properties, more than just a few sketched in this example, and an event is raised whenever a property gets changed. Imagine further, there is a use case where many of these properties need to be updated in a row. This would lead to a lot of events being raised, which may cause performance issues. How could we improve the design to better support this use case? One approach could be to provide a dedicated API for mass updates, which only sends a single event in the end when the update is completed. But this could become quite messy depending on the number of properties to be updated. Another approach could be to introduce a global flag to disable events temporarily, but that's not a clean solution either, as nested calls of this property would not work as expected. A clean solution would be to use iDisposable and the using statement again to create a so-called event guard. First, we introduce two lists in the model class, one for tracking these event guards and one to track the change properties while events are disabled. Secondly, we ensure that events are only raised when there is no event guard active. We then introduce a new API to create such an event guard. The event guard itself implements iDisposable and simply calls an action when the dispose API is called. Notice that the implementation has to ensure that multiple calls of the dispose API don't do any harm. The remove guard method, which will be called by the event guard in the dispose API, deactivates the guard again and finally ensures that once there is no event guard left, a single event is raised informing about all the properties which got changed. For that we also have to update the event arcs of course. Now we can use the using statement to define the scope of such event guards and to manage event storms in a clean way. And if you think this clean code tip was helpful, please give it a like so that it gets shared with even more developers. Thank you.